let's let's get into the bus for 2022. Raleigh, you know what? I always start this off. Raleigh, you you kick us off. You I was waiting for you to ask for that. I truly was. Yeah. I'm surprised because I decided that last minute. Go for it. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a guy who's a little – this uh, conversation is a bit more relevant in Superflex. I had a lot of trouble going through the, like, the top 12, 15 quarterbacks and trying to find someone who I didn't think would live up to their draft status. I had uh, Lamar Jackson in there who was being drafted as the QB4, but – uh, after thinking about it, I didn't, I didn't like calling for less than that because obviously due to his rushing floor, he could so easily hit that. But, um, I'm going to, I'm going to call on Justin Fields, who's being drafted as the QB 20, uh, to bust almost entirely because of how little I believe in the Browns and what they've done to their wide receiver room, uh, this off season, uh, losing Allen Robinson. They brought in Byron Pringle. They drafted Bayless Jones. Um, they brought in a couple other names who are just not worth my time. And even, even though we saw um, a couple small flashes from Justin Fields, he certainly has the traits. Um, he was, it, it wasn't consistent enough for me to bank on uh, a quarterback in a bad system who is worth me drafting as my QB2 in a super flex because that's what a QB20 is. You take, um, if say you're like in a super flex redraft and you take, Joe Burrow in the first round and it comes to round three or four. And you're looking at guys like Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, who are drafted in that range. And, you know, you could say the same thing about Trevor Lawrence, but I'll, I'll say Justin Fields because I don't, because I think Trevor Lawrence is a better player who has better weapons around him and a better head coach. So I'm, I'm not really going anywhere near Justin Fields. Uh, Maybe a few years down the line when they're, Offense is a bit more developed and they have a better coaching situation. I'll believe in the talent, but uh, for redraft right now, I don't want anything to do with him because of the offense. It's totally fair because the bears have surrounded him with no talent. It's Darnell Mooney and Cole combat who I like. I like those two, but that's it. Now I'm holding out some hope for Justin Fields because I think Luke Getzey, new offensive coordinator is going to get him on the move. And that's something that Nagy totally failed to do. And I think we could see Justin Fields flirt with 400 rushing yards. And if he does that, as I mentioned a couple weeks ago when I talked about uh, quarterback rushing yards, that's a threshold that can really push you up, 400 rushing yards. But that's a high bar. That's what you'll have to do because I agree with you. The uh, the, pa- the passing attack is just not going to be developed. 